just wanted to warn you that the new episode of uh, Hell of a Boss just came out. And uh, heard great reviews. Heard it's a fantastic episode. Or we can do drugs. Pretty good, am I right? I know we don't have any drugs, but I think it's a better decision than watching Hell of a Boss Episode 5. I mean, I feel that this is the right move to make. I think you'll have a grand old time. Hey, remember that? Remember that time that you went to that club and you had sex with the Birdman? What? Oh, don't bring it up. Never mind. N remember that time that you laid in bed and had a good dream? You might be like that, bud. Go get him. Come on, you got this. Hey, don't listen to that guy. He don't know diddly squat. He once said... That Rick and Morty was a good show. I wouldn't trust that guy. Also, have you seen him lately? He's looking pretty fat. Hey, I am not fat. I am beautiful. How dare you? You know what you did. How dare you cheated you on your Jenny Craig diet. Me. And I ain't gonna you're, have you're this. Right? I may be the you're evil side, but I was going too far. Nerd. What you oh did God, was a disgrace to the great diet of Jenny Craig. She's that. a wonderful I lady. And she is personally my greatest lover. I once had sex with her upside down on the Empire State Building. That's it! Tighten up. At least two sides fighting all the time. Oh, that's a real booty scoop right there. As of right now, as of today, I want you all to know that I'm done with all this unnecessary hatred I have for Stullis. Because just because the fans demanded something out of me doesn't mean I should let it ruin this entire great series for myself. I'm sorry, what's that? They like the deer woman. Never mind, I'm never listening to you ever again. I actually now hate you guys. <laughs> how? How? How could there be comments like this? How? I finally thought I had a character that I'm like, oh, everyone's going to hate her as much as I do. And there was more comments hating... The cherubs trying to help than the most endearing, condescending, douchebag, dear mom I've ever seen in my entire life. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Rhyme Reacts. Today, we're checking out another episode of Hell of a Boss, and I'm excited for this one, folks. I've heard a lot of real good things about this one. A lot of people really raving about episode five, so I cannot wait to get down and find out what makes this episode so fantastic. I'm always glad to hear this because, uh, you know, always fun to have an episode that people are talking about because that means something really good is going to happen. Of course, folks, like check out the original link more for original content career. Link be in the description. Uh. No. No. I'm sorry for having to move our little rendezvous early. I have an engagement this month on the full moon. So do I! I gotta go, I forgot. I left my taxi running. I forgot I left my Uber driver running. Sorry, I forgot that my Uber driver is here to pick me up. I'm sorry. How the fuck does he get a ball gag in there? That mouth is this big. The ball is that big. That's why I'm mad right now, because it doesn't make any sense. And the fuck thing's breaking! <laughs> Everything he does makes me want to strangle myself. Not like in a sexual kind of way, in an I'm pissed off kind of way. And it's the only way I can pass out and forget about everything I just saw, because Everything relating to making people pass out and forgetting things is very illegal and rightfully so. Happens. It's not really something I fuss why you, about. Why do you even but wear? Do you really it? need the book why do you wear this? Huh? I have like 15 new clients waiting for heads to roll. As shocking as it is, may seem, is his turn on for you to be the tiny monkey from Aladdin? Is actually incredibly important. Fair enough. And it isn't Fair enough. supposed to be lent out to itty bitty ints like yourself. Oh. 
The Harvest Moon is a very special occasion. It's been my annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. It's celebrated by a very charming little festival with the locals. Wrath, huh? My employees are from there. I've never really been. I hear it's full of inbred chuckle fucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of inbred chuckle fucks. Special access. Oh! I have owls in my neighborhood, by the way. I have owls all over the place. They they sit on my air conditioner and go, whoo! They'll sit there, and even if you hit it, they won't move, and they'll just go, whoo! Really loud, because they want to wake you up in the middle of the night. So I'm thinking maybe the reason I hate them so much is because owls literally wake me up in the middle of the night just to be a chuckle fuck. An inbred chuckle fuck. Comes full circle, folks. Also, if anyone stalks your crotch like that, call the police. How do you guys like him? Even if you take out the sexualness, that line of, Oh, you wouldn't understand, you little imp. I'm simply offering a work-free day of fun. I feel quite safe at the Harvest Festival. He says, looking like it's Darth Sidious. Well, <laughs> if you promise this isn't some fuck fest invite, <laughs> it does sound like it could be a blast and a half. <laughs> Plus, it's not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. Oh, I'm so sorry your clients will have to wait. Oh, fuck my clients. Mistake number one. You just told the big horny bird man to fuck all your clients. Which he will, without hesitation. Second, remember when I said I hated the deer because of the way she sounds condescending? No, oh, I'm sorry your clients will have to. What do you want, sir? Hey, hope I didn't wake you, Mox. How would you and Mills want to visit the Wrath Ring for some harvest bullshit this year? The Harvest Moon Festival! I've been waiting this whole time and bet for you say that! Well, Millie likes the idea. Wait, where are you calling from? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. I was having sex with a bird man up there. Is there a nest? Mama, daddy. Yeah, How's my deadly little pumpkin spice doing? I'm good, Pa. Thanks I love them. Stay here for the harvest I love them with every no fiber of my being. We know you aren't making as much anymore since y'all went freelance. Is that you, Paula Dean? I love your cooking. Not your racial fine. opinions, though. It's fine. Anyway, y'all remember my husband, Moxie. <laughs> Greetings, Lynn. Joe, how have you been now with all the flaming twisters and stuff around here? We lost our old farmhand to one of them terrors last week. <laughs> Oh, oh, crumbs. My bad. <laughs> I am so sorry. I didn't mean to open that wound, sir. Hey, I wouldn't accept him as my son-in-law if he yeah. said crumbs, too. Haven't met my boss, Especially after <laughs> him died. Ah, crumbs. Yeah, she's my daughter. Only on paper. Y'all don't deserve to know my name. It's a pleasure to finally meet the sperm and egg factory that popped out this little gem of an assassin. You two raised a sturdy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say that, like, looking at his dick. I, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you. That's my dick you just shook. That's a good tool, sir. It's a good tool. And I respect good tools. And I can tell by the bags in your wife's eyes that you keep her up every night. So would I. She's a hot milf. That we did. So, Blitz, is it? <laughs> That's a fine name. It reminds me of war. <sighs> Nothing like a little war to make a strong man. <laughs> I like you people. You know, more battles were won by technological advances in warfare. We've researched the history of weaponry extensively, and it's inspiring. Why do you date a possum? For example, the progression of guns utilizing angelic technology has changed the landscape of hell's combative. I mean, war fun. Go get the job done. But a man ain't nothing mad you can't till you said last line. Head off a hellish beast with only his bare hands. <laughs> He's right, Moxie. You got cute little baby hands like your baby <laughs> did. Refrain, sir. Who do you Speaking know what my dick hands, looks like? Y'all should meet our newest help. Hey, Striker! Uh. Oh, I've seen this action before. This is the classic My Little Ponies introducing new character. <laughs> Always ends with an ass slap and a guy tipping his hat going, lady. You must be the famous Mildred. 
Heard some good things about you from your folks, little lady. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know I always trust a guy with eyes that looks like the hypno snake. Huh. The free working finally slowing down. Oh no, freelance isn't free. It's a. Never mind. We're just visiting for the. Wait a minute. She's southern. You see, it's funny because she used to not have a heavy southern accent, but now she does. <laughs> I don't think I'm okay. The prince is our boss's boyfriend. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're the bold imp that started his own killing biz. Yeah, well, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. Not many imps start businesses on their own. That's pretty impressive, sir. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I, I guess, fuck anyone for a good spot, man. Right? Yeah. So you even con that ditzy blue blood into getting you to the surface? Well, it's long and complicated. But I like this guy. He insulted yes. Stullis. But he's not. And he's like, got ripped you know, pants. We're, we're not like we're not doing a. We the, what's between? It's a transactional fucking. You see. Did you know that I once edited out an entire scene in my rant video where I ended it stating, "And I swear to God." If it turns out that Blitzo and Stolas tactically like each other and that they're in a relationship and that they're hiding it, thus making me look like an idiot the whole time because it makes me uncomfortable because he doesn't like it the whole time and that he secretly was just a giant tsundere, I'll quit this series. I'll delete every single video I've ever had and I will hate this series to the day I die. But luckily, one, that's not going to happen. And two, I cut out that scene. <laughs> I have sorely hated this experience. <laughs> no, you boys should enter the pain games. I heard games. What games? I'm in. Every harvest <laughs> festival, there's a competition to be the roughest. I've heard about the pain Olympics, but I think this is a big, yeah. big misstep. Play. Millie, you know you get too carried away. The last competition ended in 15 separate funerals. I'm aware. Oh! The head of the Big Booty Committee would thoroughly like to say the art style is a fantastic touch and that the creator of the series is a fine, cultured member of society. Because there's thick, and then there's thick with two C's, and then there's thick with three C's, and then we don't even say thick anymore, we just say Millie's mom. There is no porn of Millie's mother? I've said it from the beginning. I've always loved the series, hated the fans. <laughs> it probably exists. It probably exists. I, I didn't I didn't do much research into it. But I only caused nine of them. How come Sally Mae still gets to compete? Your sister doesn't have a neighborhood head count. She so does. It doesn't count if they don't find the body. Still, you get to root for her and your brothers, and now you can cheer on your boss. You know, she's she right. can also cheer for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you? Yeah, I could compete. You made him do a literal <laughs> knee slapper. Sorry, boy, but I don't think sensitive thespian types would last very long in the games. I was born here, too. I have some fat in me. Huh. Well, then, little fella, won't you help me wrangle one of them hogs for dinner? Simple. Watch me. <laughs> Come on, use possum style. You got it, bud. You gotta get the knife underneath the oh, you gotta use your bare hands, bud. You got this? Strangle him with your bow tie. Now, just remember, your rep with the in-laws is on the line here. So, no pressure at all. You totally will not make an ass And technically, your job description says you are a hitman. So. Oh, you don't need to do this. Oh, he totally does. Take his ass, Moxie! Yeah! Woo! It's fine, bud. Just... Oh, get it, brother! Oh, it didn't go very well. He's a thick boy. And uh, being a part of the Big Booty Committee, I would say he's at least an 8 out of 10. Not a Millie's mom, though. <laughs> Come on, man. He was getting the scream of champions going. I laugh when his clavicle hurts. Hey, boss man. 
You want to help the men skin this thing for dinner? Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the manly man. <laughs> That's what she said. What who said? Wait, what <laughs> is talking shit about me? I don't even know who she was. Uh, don't let I'm confused, you scared, know. and sad. You don't need my parents to respect you. They will eventually. Now they won't. <laughs> what? I'm right, ain't I? Oh, I'm entering those games. You know, I've always had this question, and I don't know what the answer is. If the voice actor is trans, does that mean the character is trans? Because I'm almost certain that that voice actor is trans. Like, 99% sure. Does that mean that character is going to be trans as well? Or not trans? She is trans, by the way. The creators have confirmed it. Which, personally, I really like how they handled it. They really just didn't mention it and just put her in there. I think that was really well done. How pissed would you be if I bet on him dying? I wouldn't invite you to the funeral. Hey, is that the guy from the last episode? Where's his fun wiggly partner? Here to usher in this here pain game. <laughs> How kind, Quackfoot. Greetings, tiny raft ring imps. I hereby welcome you all to another. Wait, is that his hat or his hair? Hat. <laughs> I'm happy to kick Ooh. off the start of these games that will challenge the toughest dimps to show their skill and dominance. Good luck to you all. Especially that sexy little one there. Me? Ooh, no, Mitzi. not you, Millie. Oh, fuck me. It's the second time this happened this episode. <laughs> Same shark. We couldn't pay two actors. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that, like, they haven't thrown something at him. Because, you know, I would have expected them to hate the rich guy. I'd like to take this opportunity to sing a quick song <laughs> just now about me winning. <laughs> That's reasonable. That's reasonable. She rushed the stage. She had it coming. I'm so sorry, bud. That was cool, but you're not this guy. Are you eating That's cheese on a stick? Boss. It's gonna be nice working with him. Working? What? Yeah, I asked him if he wants to join IMP. Oh! You asked? But I forgot. Blitzer is a piece of shit, but a good businessman. Head back to the house and get you clean. It was just oh my god, you know what gets me going when he freaking says <laughs> for that guy to go fuck himself. What? Why, did, why were you looking at that horse like that? Well, it is the south. And he does fuck birds. <laughs> I guess anything's on the table. We don't know. You never know what's going to happen. Also, I'm no scientist. I think that guy may be an asshole. What in the hell is behind no, that door? That's troubling. <laughs> oh no! Stolas' his naked body! <laughs> what oh in God. the hell is that? Genuine Carmine crafted blessing tipped rifle. Oh How shit, even I'm turned How on the now. Fuck did he get one of these? Why don't you ask me, little dude? Shit! Well, why do you have this, mister? You are aware this kind of weapon can kill Demon royalty. Yes. <gasps> That's kind of the point. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm relatively concerned by your position. I'm really torn here. I'm really torn here. He did say fuck you to my boy, my favorite character, Moxie. But he's also saying he's going to murder Stullis. Oh, uh, I don't care about you anymore, Moxie. <laughs> And I'm on team bad guy. <laughs> Wait, how? 
Are you telling me that that gun can't kill normal demons, just royal demons? It's a bird train. Oh no, he was right about my baby hands! Oh. <gasps> I know that glass breaking anywhere. My boyfriend's in danger. Or he slipped. He's such a butterfingers. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh! Whoa! Get him, girl! But while you're at it, can you just like finish this job for him? Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Oh! Oh God! Kill y'all, but I feel like there's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't. How'd you know he was a rodeo clown? Things ain't worth the cleanup. This word just spread out real quick. Millie, oh Satan, Moxie, I'm fine. I got worse than this during the flower tufts at my brother's wedding. But I caught that fucking bukkake. <laughs> First off, I thought she was going to say bukkake. And I thought, wow, that changed really quick. And two, I saw it. it. was impressive. Five bear traps at once? Damn, girl. That's a new world record. Fucking worth it. You just have to get out there and fuck up that brown nosing cocksucker for me. But I can't break through it. I'm not strong enough. Not with your hands, baby. Use what you're good at. I'm not good with my hands. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I probably should have used this earlier. <laughs> <huh? laughs> I love you, hood. But for fuck's sake. How can you be the smart one, but also the dumb one? He's gonna save Stolas, and the only character I love is going to... Betray me right here and now, is he? With the glow of the true harvest moon. Whoa! That woman got lip surgery. Wow, that gun is a lot bigger than it looked. The fuck? Liz, I thought you were still at the ceremony. You thought I wanted to stand around with a bunch of hillbillies excited about corn and shit with a thirsty owl on stage? Hmm. Huh. Now you seem disappointed in me. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm not. Who doesn't like corn? I offered a job to about to off my easiest lanky ticket to Earth behind my back. Liz, come on. You know the two of us are superior than most of our kind, and you were so above sucking on a disgusting, rich, pompous Goetia, only to sneak topside for scraps and work for bitter sinners who could care less who you are when mm. you could be slaying overlords. Why struggle to run a business that is rigged against you when you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable? Starting with the one that treats you like a plaything. Ooh, that's kind of hot. We could be the most dangerous oh! beings in that. Well, it is. He's right. Wow, that was a good fucking bitch. Been workshopping it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm in. Yeah! Me too! Oh, party pooper Moxie comes to town. Wow, you should have seen your dip. Shit face. Whoa, whoa. Okay, cliche much. <laughs> whoa! Oh, you daddy fucker. How'd you know? Just one time. You dumb fucks lost the upper hand fast, huh? Ha! You seem to have forgotten something, fucko. <laughs> <laughs> we might actually have made a good team. Oh well. In your wet dreams, you hockey talk. Show! Oh, for Pete's sakes, come on! I know I'm rooting for the wrong guy, but you got this, buddy. Two on one. I still think it's embarrassing. You're wasting a lot of potential relying on a weak little. You gonna finish that fucking sentence, partner? Vermin. Who's weak now, bitch? Okay, I'm here. <laughs> he got out of there. He knew he couldn't take Luna. Nobody can take Luna. I've seen the pictures. Hmm. I can't believe you let him. 
can't trap you, Millie. Haven't we taught you better? I was seeing red, Ma. And he was slippery. Excuse Everybody's me. red. That's that. not an excuse. You know, she protected me. And maybe I'm not a strong, beefy dickhead. But Millie has the strength enough for both of us. You two are getting on our case about being hurt <laughs> by a psychopath you hired? Shame on you. Oh, Moxie, look at you. Speaking like a big boy <laughs> with his big pants. The way he insulted you, well, it angered me. Noted. I'll accept it. He's never Nobody insults pants in my neighborhood. So, is that progress? Uh, I failed to kill the target at the festival. But don't worry, ma'am. It won't happen again. It better not. <gasps> I want this cheating prick dead. I don't care who you have to go through. Make it happen! <laughs> So not only is he rich, he's also invincible. Oh my god, he's fucking Superman. Oh, 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 this was a fun episode, actually. I really quite liked it. The action was quite intense. Like the action scenes really had me going. But there is the problem that I'm pretty sure I'm the only reaction YouTuber ever to watch the series and go, oh, is he going to kill Stolas? And I got excited, and when he lost, I got less excited. <laughs> the whole series is going to be around Stolas. The whole series is going to be around Stolas. The whole series is going to be around my most hated character. Oh, he's not going to die. He's not going to die. The ending is going to be Stullis and Blitzo get in a relationship and then they fall in love or something. That's going to happen. It's the most generic and most simple plot ever and I'm going to hate every second of it. Or they kill Stullis. And if they kill Stullis... I don't know what I'm going to do. There's going to be like this slew of rash YouTubers crying. And I'm going to be fucking Squidward. Well, what can I say? It's been great knowing you, SpongeBob. Good luck somewhere else. I'm going to miss you. Bo ho, bo ho, bo ho, bo ho, bo ho. Squid's taking it real hard. It wasn't that I didn't try to like Stolas, right? I rewatched the episodes and tried to piece it together right and i even i even came out of it realizing okay well blitzo even though it's uncomfortable and it does kind of got that that harvey weinstein relationship like hey i'll give you something powerful but you have sex with me and i really don't like that dynamic it makes it really uncomfortable i don't like it it's one of the biggest reasons i didn't like him at first but then after rewatching it i realized blitzo's using him equally as that but it does ask you a question if someone used harvey weinstein knowing full well to get a role to have sex, does that mean what Harvey Weinstein was doing is still okay? Because would that mean that Solus would still do this even if he wasn't into it? These are the questions I ask. And even with, like, understanding that maybe, like, he's in a relationship he can't get out of, um, that makes, like, the cheating aspect, like, one of the few cases where the cheating kind of, like, it's like, all right, I get it. But his personality is just dreadful. <laughs> it's just dreadful. I I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Usually people always hate the rich snooty character. In short, I'm a One Piece fan. And in One Piece, the poor and the low half beat the living shit out of the rich and kill them and take their money because they're snooty assholes. It's in my DNA. When you watch 800 episodes of One Piece, you can't help but hate the rich. It's just what happens. Except, uh, well, the snooty rich. The normal rich is okay. Just the snooty rich. 
I really like the stuff with Millie and Moxie. They are such a sweet couple. There's something about them that's so genuine and lovable, and I freaking love it. There's something like their their chemistry is so cute. More of that, please. I would very much like it. Though I think this may be the last. I think this is their episode, and thus they're not going to go back. Because I have a stinking suspicion. See, there's two episodes left. Both these episodes are going to be based around Stolas and Blitzo. Uh, I hope there's at least one episode where Blitzy uh, has his background. Because I would love to know his history and what happened before him. Because it's truly fascinating. Also, was Blitzo in or was Blitzo fooling? This is, I'm really curious about that scene where he was looking in the eyes. I don't know if... I, I made a joke about this, but I think they, they were 100% going for it. He had the eyes of the snake from uh, Jungle Book with the swirls, like the hypnotism. I don't know if he was hypnotizing him or if he was bringing up good points. I mean, it is a valid point. Like, you're literally sucking dick for this book when easily, if I killed him, you could take the book and then you just have the book. Which is why I'm almost certain they're going with Blitzo likes him. Or not. I don't know. Also, Millie's mm, Moms. Boo. Ooh. <laughs> oh god it, it's it's blake's mom all over again except if they took the png and just went Ugh. what a great villain design by the way good stuff i like the eyes like i said there's something about the touch his outfit's pretty good he doesn't look like a completely generic southern like villain but also the rattle snail tail <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea how many times I've listened to that and laughed. I meant rattlesnake tail, not rattlesnail tail. I won't unsee it now, guys. He will always be a snail in my heart. That was a very nice touch. I thought it was really good. I think he's a good villain. Problem is, seeing he's gonna kill Stullis, my brain never took him as a villain. It was a very weird roller coaster ride in my head. Also, on that note, I am curious to see if she's gonna be. Is she trying to kill him because he cheated? Or is she trying to kill him because she wants his money? I have a feeling they'll go with this one. Uh, because if I even say it's because they're cheating, I know people are going to give me the same comment that I've gotten since the beginning. Yeah, but she was mad because it was an imp. Not because he was cheating. Like, all of that is very interesting. I like that storytelling. Like, it brings intrigue. Makes me want to watch the next episode to see where they're going. But as far as, like, storyline-wise, besides episode two, I'll give it to episode two. It was a, an interesting story about a daughter. Everything that's happened has been very basic storytelling. It really hasn't been anything that's really grabbed me just yet. To me, the story is not their, the brightest point. Like, the story of Hell of a Boss is pretty basic as far as stories go. Other than episode two. Listen, I, I, as much as I hate Stolas, I like the stuff with him and his daughter. I thought that was well done, even though I don't like the character. See, the thing is, because I don't like Stolas, and he's, like, the main, like, story point, I just I just feel like I don't care. Oh, also, I should answer the question, because I know people are going to ask. Ryan, did you like this episode better than episode four of the pilot? And I'm sorry to say, folks, I did not. I liked the episode. I thought it was really good. I still like the comedy episodes better. I just, I personally prefer the, those episodes. Because most of the time, the story just doesn't hook me. It's just basic, I'm a bad guy. I'm the guy that your, your, your parents would like better to date. I'm evil. So, I don't know. But anyways, folks, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment. And I'm, I'm truly curious to hear about your opinions this time. What'd you guys think of this episode? What what has got you gripped? If you really like the story, what is it that got you gripped? Is it literally just the story, the Stolas storyline? And also, is it just me? Does does the snootiness not bother you? Also, like I don't mind rich people, but rich snooty people have always been the bane of my existence since Weiss and Ruby and Rarity. Because dear God, when he's snooty, God does it remind me of that stinking pony, and I don't want to be reminded of my most hated freaking entity literally makes me cringe and make me go oh i hate you i just don't get it i don't i don't get it i don't get it but then again i was absolutely baffled that people said that the deer character was their favorite character how how is that possible how is that 
humanly possible. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that what annoys me will be someone else's like because what I like could annoy someone else. But whatever. Also, this is a net positive. I like the main villain and I like Millie's mom. Millie mom, number one character. She went up the rankings. Moxie, sorry, Moxie. Boop, you get knocked down. Cowboy guy, he's above Moxie. I like Moxie and Millie. They're my favorite character. Really, the only thing I'm invested in in the series. Uh, other than uh, Blitzo's past. I, I really want to know about that. But he's trying to kill a character I don't like. And he's got a cool rattly snake. Uh, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it's a little time. But, no, oh, you got to go down. It's Millie's mom's ass is number one on the list. Is the number one character. 100% best character. Will never be beaten at the top of the charts. Anyways, folks. Thank you all. Uh, for joining me. I do look forward to seeing where this goes. Uh, and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone.